We considered the following exercise for local extrema of a function of several variables. Yeah? We considered the function f defined on d with values in r real function, where the domain d contains all elements in r3, which are strictly positive. x, y, and z are strictly positive. And f by x, y, and z is given by y plus z squared over 4y plus x squared over z plus 2 over x. Of course, the first step is to consider and to find the critical points. Let's write critical points. And in order to find the critical points, we have to solve the system of partial derivatives of the function f with respect to x, y, and z. So we have the system in this case, which is equivalent to 2 multiplied x over z minus 2 multiplied 1 over x squared equals to 0. The second equation is 1 minus z squared over 4y squared equals to 0. And the derivative with respect to z in the last equation will be 1 over 2 multiplied z over y minus x squared over z squared yeah? equals to 0. The system in this case is equivalent to 1 over x squared z multiplied by 2 multiplied by x cubed minus z equals to 0. The second equation, 1 over 4 y squared multiplied by 4 y squared minus z squared equals to 0. And the last one, 1 over 2 y z squared multiplied by z cubed minus 2 x squared y. equals to zero. Taking into account that x, y, and z must be strictly positive from the second equation, it follows z equals plus minus 2y, but being positive, both arguments, we have z equals 2y, the only possibility. So, replacing in the third equation, we'll have 8y cubed minus 2x squared y equals to 0, which is equivalent to 2y multiplied by for y squared minus x squared equals to zero. Again, y is strictly positive. We remain on, remains only with 4y squared minus x squared equals to zero. But exactly as in the previous equation, it follows only one possibility, x equals to y. Now, replacing in the first equation, we obtain 8y cubed minus 2y equals to 0. And from here, we have the solutions. y can be 0, 1 over 2, and minus 1 over 2. But only one solution is strictly positive. So it follows y, in our case, must be 1 over 2 only. So it follows that. We have only one critical point where x is 2y, 2y means 1, y is 1 over 2, and the z is again 2y, so it is 1. So this is the only critical point. Let's write, in order to 
find the, or to calculate the Hessian matrix, matrix we need the partial derivatives of order 2. In other words, d to f dx2, which will be 2 multiplied 1 over z plus 4 multiplied 1 over x cubed, d to f dy2, which is 1 over 2 z squared over y cubed, d to f dz2, which is 1 over 2y, plus 2 multiplied x squared over z cubed, d2f dx dy, which is 0. We can see that the second derivative with respect to y does not depend by y. And d2f dx dz equals to minus 2 x over z squared and of course the last one d to f dy dz which is minus 1 over 2 z over y squared so taking into account the partial derivatives we can write the hessian matrix of the function f with respect to the point m and in this case, replacing x and z by 1 and y by 1 over 2 respectively, we obtain the Hessian matrix, which is 6, 0, and minus 2. 0 and minus 2 symmetrically. 4, minus 1 over 8, and minus 1 over 8 symmetrically. And here we have 3. And we have... Delta 0 equals 1 by definition. Delta 1 is exactly, is exactly 6. Delta 2, which is 6, 0, 4, and 0, is 24. And delta 3, the determinant of the Hessian matrix, which is, in fact, uh, 56 minus 3 over 32. Anyway, this is a positive number. So we can we obtain finally delta zero positive, delta one positive, delta two positive, delta three positive, and consequently it follows that the Hessian matrix is positively defined. And consequently, the critical point M1, 1 over 2, and 1 will be a local minimum point. Local minimum point. And of course, the minimum value of the function F will be F by M, which in our case is 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus 2 so this is 4 and this is the final part of the problem